Hey, what's up? Infosec addicts, what's going on guys? It's Joe McRae. I know you gotta be ready for Splunk. Are you ready for Splunk? All right, so advanced threat hunting with Splunk, this isn't just using Splunk to do like generic queries like how to figure out like network health and those types of things. I've seen a lot of people, they spend so much time doing like how to how to do really basic system type queries with Splunk. They don't really spend a lot of time for like hunting with Splunk and actually looking for security events with Splunk. So that's gonna be the things that we're gonna cover. We're definitely gonna cover building and configuring Splunk because I think that's important, but we're also gonna cover what security events generally look like because if you don't know your log types and your specific log event codes then you kind of don't know what are the key things to look for so even if you have Splunk it's kind of one of those things like you can't know what you don't know you need to know what malicious activity looks like before you can write Splunk queries for it so how to identify security events then how to threat for how to threat hunt for events that circumvent general detection so how to look for process creation, sub-process creation, process injection, how to look for things that are, you know, kind of tricky to look for, right? And then advanced queries, like how do you really get down and do some kung fu with Splunk? So I'm really hoping that you'll jump in and dive right into this class because I think it's a good one. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us, this is InfoSec Addicts.